What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Amcrest Wi-Fi Video Doorbell. This is the AD410 model, and it is 2K resolution. So we're going to check this out. We're going to check the features out. We're going to check the app. We're going to see what the resolution, or at least not the resolution, but we're going to see what the quality of the video during the daytime and nighttime, as well as the audio quality. We're going to give this thing a once over. We also want to look at what the app has to offer. Now, there is one thing about this video doorbell that no other doorbell has, at least none that I can think of. We'll talk about that a little bit later, so stick around. So you can pick one of these up for about $149, which is about average for most video doorbells out there. Um, this is 2K, so it is a little bit above and over the 1080p models, and the 1080p models usually get about 100 to 150 bucks. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what you get in the box. Here's the front of the box. You got the Amcrest 2K 4 megapixel Wi-Fi video doorbell. It is the AD410 model. On the back, you have 2K Ultra HD video, two-way talk, Wi-Fi enabled, 16 foot night vision, IP65 weatherproof rating, 164 degree wide viewing angle, motion detection and alerts, simple and easy setup. From the get-go here, you have the warranty information. Looks like a little pamphlet letting you know about the iPhone and Android app, as well as premium cloud storage. An important notice about firmware. Not really sure what this is. It looks like it's maybe a compliance documentation. Instruction guide on installing your Wi-Fi doorbell and then installing the chime kit. So here's the chime kit. You'll put this in the regular standard chime area in your house so that way your doorbell will actually ring when you press the button. Drywall anchors and a reset switch and screws to mount, as well as looks like electrical screws. So that way when you wire up the doorbell device, you'll have a few uh, electrical connectors here. Here's some wiring for the doorbell chime. So you can see there's a connector that goes into the doorbell chime or the box that we showed earlier. And then this helps you wire up your indoor chime so that works. Here is a drill bit. It's a masonry drill bit so it will work in drywall and wood but it also works in concrete or brick. Then you have wedges here. So you have a flat wedge. It looks like an angled wedge so you can angle it down or up. And then you have a it looks like about a 45 degree angle wedge left or right whichever way you flip it. So they have an assortment of wedges that come with this which a lot of the doorbells don't come with these and you have to buy them separately. So that's nice. Here's the doorbell. It's a nice flat black plastic design with the camera up here. The logo right here, I don't know if you can see that, but you got the logo at the middle here and then the button with lights around it. Nice solid press. And then on the back side, on the back side there are, is a QR code on the top here that you can use to scan when you actually try to get this connected to your iPhone app or Android app. And you got the two screws for, uh, not, I was gonna say mounting, but those are the two screws to wire up your doorbell to your wiring. And then you have a micro USB spot there, as well as a reset and micro SD card behind here. So now that you see what you get in the box, the installation is fairly easy and straightforward. I know that's relative to whoever's installing it, but if you've ever installed a doorbell or any, any video doorbell itself, you'll know what you need to go through. There is instructions that they provide you that are pretty easy step-by-step. -step. So go ahead and go through those as well as you can reach out to their support line. Another thing to remember too is pairing this to the app on your phone is actually pretty easy too. And they have a QR code that you scan as well as the actual device puts off a Wi-Fi signal. So you'll connect to the video doorbell and then you tell it what the Wi-Fi you wanna use and the password and it connects to that and then use the QR code on the back of the device to tell it which one is the unit you're gonna be using. So once you get that set up, you also need an account, which actually is first, I probably should have said that first. I don't know why I didn't say it was first, but once you get it set up with the account, you'll be able to get this installed and set up ready to go. Now, there are a few features about this that make it pretty good. Not the feature I was talking about earlier, but there are a few features about this that make it really nice and one of them is the wide dynamic range. So this has wide, it's really hard to say, wide, wide dynamic range. And what's really nice about that is if you have your doorbell in a position where it's facing the sun or the sun's facing it pretty, pretty harsh, it can make the image look pretty harsh and 
kind of um, over over wide out or what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, blown out. Uh, have you ever taken a picture of something and it just it looks really white and you really can't hardly tell what's going on with it? The wide dynamic range will help uh, alleviate that. Now another thing is they do give you the capability of connecting this through RTSP, which allows you to connect this to any NVR that you have via the IP address. So you'll be able to record any recordings that you have on this device or through this device onto your NVR that you might already have. You don't have an NVR now, that really won't matter to you, but that's really nice about this because most video doorbells don't have that capability. Now, if you don't have an NVR, don't worry. The recordings, you can pay for a cloud storage or you can record to an SD card. It allows you to put an SD card in the back of it and record up to that and get your recordings via your phone. So here are some of the features of the camera. The camera itself is a four megapixel CMOS sensor. The video is HD 2K 2560 by 1920 at 15 FPS, which is frames per second. It does use H.265 compression, which is the newest compression, or at least uh, the most standard right now for compressing that video into a smaller uh, size. The field of view is 164 degree diagonal, and it does support night vision up to 16 feet. The audio has a built-in speaker and a mic. Storage, like we said, and micro SD card up to 128 gigs. Use a class 10 or higher. And you do have the access to the smart cloud, which you'll have to pay for a little bit. It can use a network of 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, uh, which is really nice. A lot of times they don't allow you to use both or either or. Uh, the IP65 weatherproof rating dimensions are 5 inches by 1.7 inches by 0.9 inches. The weight is a quarter pound. So that. It's pretty light. I guess that really doesn't matter, does it? So let's go ahead and show you the video quality that you're gonna see during the daytime as well as nighttime. I think this is really important to share with anybody that's interested in buying either a security camera or video doorbell or any 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 camera of, that's gonna produce a quality image at all. So here's gonna be the daytime footage first and then we're gonna have the nighttime and then you'll hear the audio quality in both. This is the quality of the video during the daytime with the sun out and the audio quality you're gonna hear from video doorbell. Here's the quality of the nighttime vision without any lights on. Now that you've seen the video quality during the daytime and nighttime, I'm gonna let you know my opinion. My opinion is for 2K, it was a little bit grainy, a little bit more grainy than I would one is kind of expecting, but the video quality is actually pretty good. If you take the quality of the graininess out of it, I think it'd be superb. So. I'm on the fence on that. It is pretty good for 2K quality, but it does have a little bit of graininess going on. Another feature that you really want to look for when you're looking for a video doorbell or a security camera is how quickly when it senses motion, does it alert your phone that there's motion at the door. So we're gonna go ahead and see how quickly it does that here. All right, so let's see how long it takes the doorbell to detect motion. Here we go. There's the doorbell right there. And there you go. That's actually pretty quick. So as you can see, it alerted me really quick. I was really impressed how quick it alerted my phone that there was motion at the video doorbell. Uh, most of the time it takes a little bit of time and, and it almost got me or at least detected me as I walked the cor around the corner of my garage. So I'm really impressed about that. So it gets A plus on that. So let's get to that feature that I was talking about earlier in the video that everybody stuck around hopefully to find out. It does have a little LED light that projects light underneath the video doorbell to kind of light up the area where the doorbell is or the door. So it has a feature that it can turn it on at a certain time as well as turn it on during motion if, if need be. And then you can also have it kind of do a strobe motion where it just flashes. I'm not really sure what you would use the flashing for other than like alert the person that's there that you're getting recorded, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I wanted to see if the LED light that it projects makes the nighttime video or at least the night vision any, if it increases the video quality at all. And so here's what it looks like. Here's the quality of the nighttime vision with a little light on below the doorbell. So as you can see, I didn't really notice any difference. 
And I'm not sure that Amcrest was looking for a difference in video quality based on this. I think it really was just to kind of light up the area so you don't trip over the step or trip over any packages that are there. I, I, I truly don't think, I'm not sure that Amcrest was actually using that light to increase the night vision or at least the night quality. So let's go ahead and take a look at the app and kind of show you real quickly what kind of features on there. So here's the app right here and it goes ahead and shows you what devices you have right now and just have one and you go ahead what what i don't like about this is it doesn't show you a snapshot of what last happened so most apps do amcrest decided not to on that one at least at least for now so you tap into that to get it to go ahead and load and right now you can see what's going on outside my doorbell or at least my front door and then so you have a multi-view so if you have more than one camera it sends up multiple multiple cameras that you can see uh, at least the live view. You can talk to somebody, you can listen in, you can do a full screen, which will turn it sideways in landscape mode. You can change the quality of the vision or quality of the video from HD to SD or SD to HD, which standard definition is SD. What I find on this is a lot of times when I come on here, the quality of the video is set to SD. And so you have to check high quality and it's not like a default setting. You can take a snapshot of what's going on or record manually and record to your phone if you wanted to. Down below, you can see the live view, which is where we're at right now, the cloud recordings or the recordings on the micro SD card. So let's go to the settings here. So you can set up different chimes and you can also use the chime at your house. During underneath motion detection, you can set up motion detection as well as human detection. And what's really nice about this is you can set up motion zones, detection zones, let's go ahead and load that. So as you can see, the blue lines here are what I want to record any motion going on there and be notified of. Anything that's outside the blue, it won't, if there's motion like my tree moving around, it won't alert me. I can set up motion zones for just motion as well as a separate motion zone for any human detection. So that's really cool that it does detect a human versus just regular motion. You can even turn off just motion detection and turn on human detection. So you won't be alerted for any other motion unless it detects a human. So under video settings, you can turn on wide dynamic range as well as change the HD resolution from 1080p to 2K or back and forth, whichever you want. Storage status, this kind of lets you know what storage you have left on the cloud or on your SD card. Time zone, share device, so you can share the app to somebody else without them having the login and password to your app. Firmware update, Wi-Fi settings, those are pretty uh, easily self-explanatory. Doorbell tone and volumes, you can change that if you want to on the device. You can do a doorbell quick response. The indicator light ring, you turn it on and off. Record audio, you can turn that on and off. Push notification and push thumbnail. So now that we've talked about the video quality during the day and the night, the features of the video doorbell, the app, pretty much everything about it, the light even, what do you think about it? What do you think about this video doorbell for 150 bucks? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. What did you think about the video quality? What did you think about the light feature? Is that something you could utilize? Is that something pretty cool? Is that something that video doorbells out there or other manufacturers start doing? Let me know in the comment section below. The app was pretty straightforward. It doesn't have a snapshot on it, not a big deal. But one thing I really liked about it is it being able to set up motion zones for human detection and just motion detection. You can also even disable motion detection and only do human detection, which is really nice. So if you don't want to get the animals or anything like that moving around, it'll at least by, bypass that and you won't get ex excessive notifications on your phone, which is super nice. If you do have any other comments or questions about this, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and I will see you next time. <laughs>